Hello, my name is Heitor from Bacula.us. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Proxmox Virtual Machine Backup. Uh, I'm using the generic B-Pipe Bacula plugin, which you have in the community and ent enterprise versions. Uh, if you use the community, the backup of a VM, it will be always full. Okay, it, it will be full anyway, because Proxmox doesn't support differential backups but if you use the enterprise version you have global the duplication which saves a lot of storage space i have two virtual machines i already made backup of them i can submit another backup for you let me just run i'm running always full backups but uh, as I'm using the dupe, I'm saving lots of storage, backup storage space. I'm using a script to, to configure the bacula. The Bacula B-Pipe, this script, it lists all virtual machines It lists all virtual machines and then prints the pipe configuration for Bacula I'm putting the script at the video link to my website If you run the script, it only prints to you the B-Pipe configuration that Bacula needs to perform the virtual machine's backup. Every virtual machine will be listed here. Of course, you can customize these commands. The VisiDump is done during backup and the KN Restore is used to restore the machines automatically to uh, Proxmox, but you can change that during Restore. I will show you. In order to make Bacula run that script, you just come into the file set. Plugin options and then just set a path. You see, if you are using B Bacula Enterprise B-Web, you only need to use a uh, backslash here if you're in the text use to here in order to run that script so this is what makes the magic happen so my backup is done i just did the backup of both virtual machines let's restore it now in bweb you have a very a nice graphical option here i will just restore the to just choose the mach virtual machines you want to restore and here I have an option I can tell Bacula what command to use during restore I could restore that virtual machine backup to a, a file on disk for example and then I do the restore manually or I can just use the KN restore command to automatically. I could even change the, his, the ID of the machine I want to restore. Okay. For some reason, he, he picked the two machines, but I'm only restoring one. Okay, it's the 100 one. I will stop and delete this virtual, this running virtual machine that I already did backup and I'm going to restore it ok, let me remove that I'm removing it ok, and then I perform an automatic restore to my Proxmox installation you can see all these operations happening here Ok, I just destroyed the virtual machine and now I'm restoring from Bacula automatically. And this is it, the restore is over and my machine is back again 
if I restore it with uh, if the mas machine already exists, it would overwrite that because in my script I use the force version. Okay, you, it's an option. You can overwrite existing machines during restore with the KM restore force option. And I just start my machine. It is back again, and everyone is happy again. So this is it. Thank you very much for your orientation. See you later.